Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I will be showing you my haul during this coronavirus season. I think I had this gear acquisition syndrome in which I really wanted to buy cameras instead of buying my own food. It's a shame, but um, yep first one that I'll show you is this um, Minolta, Minolta camera. Let's see what it looks like. So it's the Minolta Hymatic F and I haven't tested out yet but um, I think the first step will be putting in new batteries. To this camera I'll be trying it out um, let's open it oh it's nice and clean surely needs a battery looks really nice uh, there we go beautiful it's just so nice I think I got it for like twenty dollars. I usually offer offer really low these days because um, first I don't really have that much money. Um, I'm just relying on uh, my salary. I work two part time jobs in a in a retirement home. It used to be two jobs, one in retirement and one in a nursing home but since my nursing home since this pandemic they asked me to pick a job and uh, before before all this pandemic started my uh, long-term care care place asked me already and uh, made my decision that I'll just work in the retirement home I'm so happy that my retirement place uh, offered me two part-time jobs in replacement to the the one that I lost. So, yep. There we go. So the next one that I bought is a Pentax um, Auto 10, Auto 110 camera. Actually, when I bought this one, um, I think the ad says it doesn't work. So I didn't I didn't give up. I put I cleaned the battery section uh which has lots of corrosion and stuff. Cleaned it up, put new batteries and let it sit for a few days, which has been my style uh whenever I try on new cameras and luckily yep, it did work and I bought some 110 film and I put it in there and yep. All I really need to figure out these days is uh, how to develop the 110 film. So, quite happy with this. It's so cute. It's one of the smallest um, SLR camera that I have, or maybe the you know, smallest ones in the world. Yep. My friend gave me this Rolly B35 camera uh, for my birthday. It was so nice to do that this is so nice uh, I'm not sure why it's uh, brass colored someone can tell me why I really appreciate it it's so nice um, I know that I can't afford to buy a rolly one so I'm, so I'm just really happy that my, my friend bought me this one it's so nice other ones that I bought is this one I was just so lucky to get this one on sale. I think I I paid um, $50 for this one. And um, they always say that it's untested. And I just rely on my gut instinct that, you know, hope that it will work. So at first, so I just put battery, put battery on it. There's a guy on YouTube that um, doing tutorials about how to use how to use just a regular LR444 battery. 
to make this one work and so yep I was able to make it work um okay this is how it does work and as you can see I used aluminum foil and two LR44 on one top of each other on one side and then the aluminum foil and the foil on the other side and waited out for a few days and that's how that's how I made it work it's uh, just amazing actually I'll make a video about this and the results of um, my photo shoot near the lake it was such a fun day back to the oh, this one this one is one of my dream camera it's the exa ihagi dresden my first encounter with this camera was during a bidding war with someone in the salvation army um, at, the, at that time i was really broke and my budget only was 40 dollars and this guy bid 55 dollars and i said I was about to go on for 60 but then I controlled myself and I said you know dude that's it I got lucky with this one I just need some cleaning but this one works um, okay this one you press here got it for 40 bucks uh, including shipping so that was a really good deal okay I need to yeah, move that one. So yeah, I'm just facing a wall right now. So you're just going to see the wall. Funny thing is the shutter speed is powered by moving this thing. And uh, yeah, you focus through this one. Yeah, the numbers are all there. And you push this one. And it goes up. Mirror goes up. And it goes down again once you press that. And yeah, that's a pretty cool thing. Can't wait to test it out. Konica, okay, yeah, this one I got for twenty bucks. Just I just like it, just purely cosmetic reasons, but um, it works. It just needs um, a 126 film, but I think I can use a um, regular 35 millimeters. Uh, I did that before, so surely I can do it with this one. This one has this uh, selenium selenium thing here that's um, exposing for you. This is the uh, Konica EE Matic. Oh, can't wait to test it out. Oh my god, I got a lot of things to test out. And last but not the least is the one that I got earlier. I saw this um, on Facebook Marketplace. Quite shocked, it's 50 bucks. Usually, this one goes for about 60 to 100 dollars. And this is the Yashica. Electro 35 and the batteries uh, battery um, compartment is quite corroded so I need to clean it up um, the person who sold it to me said that it belonged to her grandf grandfather and it has still a film inside so I gen I I gently open it just to see if it's if there's a film and there's one so I I just um, uh, rewind the film and I'll try to develop it and give it to her once it's all done but um, this one's a good steal for for that price point we'll make a video about this but I'll try to make it work first and then yep and that's it for the first first half of my hauls i think i still have some here that um needed to be shown but then i don't have time i need to go get ready for work shower get my shit done and get my things done and uh, that's it guys thank you guys for watching bye